Hello! I'm Mr. Dashing Teenager. How nice of you to join us. Welcome to the review of my book. Ha <laughs> ha How you get so big to do food of this kind? Hey guys, I got another book review for you today. This is a book for children, the child at heart, or people with children. Um, if you fit into any of those three, I think you'll be interested in this. So it's called Join the Resistance. It's by Ben Acker and Ben Blacker. You might remember them as the authors of Bump, one of the stories in From a Certain Point of View. It's like the cutest writing duo name ever. So this is the first novel in what right now is a series of three. There might be more announced later. Only two of them are out. The third one comes out sometime next year. So Join the Resistance is about this kid, uh, Mattis Bands. He's 15 according to the paperwork, but 14 according to biology. He's a kid who's just really sure of the fact that he's gonna be a hero one day. I mean, look look at that little, look at that hero pose right there. Like, that's that's a guy who's gonna be a hero. I mean, he's, he's so sure that he's gonna be a hero like Luke Skywalker or Poe Dameron, and uh, he wants to join the Resistance so he can become a pilot. Like that's where that's of course where the title "Join the Resistance" comes from. It's his journey on how he gets discovered by the Resistance. He gets taken to the Resistance base, and he starts learning how to be a rebel in the not the Rebel Alliance. Before I get into the story of the book itself, I just want to say how impressed I am by the book. Like, I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but this is really nice. Like, this is, it's a hardcover book. It has so many great illustrations in it. It, it was illustrated by Annie Wu, according to the illustrated by within the pages of the book. And I just, I want to show you guys some of this. So each chapter has this nice logo on it, which I think is just stellar. The pages themselves. So if you look there, uh, that is not my uh, camera lens being dirty. The, all of the pages are kind of textured and even this material kind of feels indented. Like it doesn't feel like flat paper. It was really great. Uh, and there's a lot of great images in here. Let me find one. So this is, uh, this is Mattis as he arrives at the resistance base with his new best friend. Lots of, lots of great images. The whole thing, it, it is not a picture book. So for those of you who'd rather look than read, uh, you'll be disappointed in that aspect, but I would say every few chapters there's an image, um, particularly of important events. That would of course be uh, Admiral Akbar there. If you if you read Guardians of the Wills, it's similar to that in terms of number of images. So this is actually something they've been doing in a lot of their books that are for this particular age age group. Guardians of the Wills is really good. I believe there's a review on our site some more of that as well. Uh, so just overall the construction of the book is really nice. Even looking at the cover I'm like I kind of want to read this. This looks fun. The story is good. Uh, so like I said it's about this kid, Mattis, the guy in the middle. He meets a bunch of new friends. So this kid right here, he's a rough and tumbling, probably better as a scoundrel than a hero type. He's, he's, he sounds like he's from the bayou. That droid there is his brother. Half protocol, half astromech droid that's never had a memory wipe. Pretty interesting. Creates for an interesting dynamic. This chick here is pretty cool. She's uh, She's got the classic tale of being big and burly and the muscle, but she's really a lot of brain too and struggles with that. You, of course, you have to have your Zeltron beauty, babe, because if you are 14 years old and wanting to crush on someone, it should be a Zeltron. That just, that just goes without saying. This guy up here is the funniest part of the book. He's an absolute riot. Um, and it's very appropriate that he's upside down because he's just always getting, always getting in everywhere. But you know what? He's your best friend. Just remember that. He's your best friend. And then this very uh, cross looking fellow there is their kind of squad leader. He's a little bit older than the rest of them and he's gonna whip them into shape and, and get them disciplined and that sort of thing. His name is Joe Gergerod. And if you recognize the name Gergerod, you'll understand what his story is. It creates kind of an interesting dynamic there between everyone. I feel like the running theme in it is that there's more to everyone than you think there is. So the, the story of course is the the stern squad leader. He wants to fit all the square pegs into into round holes because he wants everyone to, to fit this image that he has of them. But of course, there's more to everyone and it's about them learning their own special talents. It's a good thing to get, you know, your 10-ish year old to, to think about. At some level, I thought it was a little bit weird that they were taking a bunch of 15-year-olds and training them to be soldiers. I mean, at no point do they like go off into battle. It just seemed a little weird that you took a bunch of kids and put them in war school. 
And then I thought about the long history of young people in Star Wars at war, and I started to question everything I believed in. But I enjoyed the story anyway, it was really good. I'm really excited to read the next one. The book's called Escape from Vaudran, and I don't believe the third one is named yet. Like I said, I'm going to be getting book two and reviewing that soon. I'm very excited to do that. This was a lot of fun. A lot of... it, it really kept itself moving. It's, it's a solid all-around book. I grew up reading the young uh, novels by Jude Watson, so like the Jedi Apprentice series, Jedi Quest. Those were great. I was really interested to see what the new crop of young novels were going to be for the next generation of Star Wars fans. And while these guys aren't Jedi, although if you ask Mattis, he's totally Force-sensitive. The Force just, you know, hasn't manifested itself yet, but he, he's Force-sensitive. Luke Skywalker's going to find him and and teach him to be a hero. Uh, he was honestly a pretty endearing kid. It was not the case of the main character is just like the most boring character in the whole story so like every kid can imagine that they're them. You know instead it was he actually has a personality that is pretty befitting of his age actually and he he was a character and of himself as much as anyone else in the book and I, I think that's good. I don't think 10 year olds really need like stale pieces of bread to feel like they can get engaged in a novel, and I think I think it was good that they, they took that road. I, I do think that helps move the story along too. So those are my thoughts on this. It's I would highly, highly recommend it. If you have a kid who's getting into reading actual chapter books, if he or she likes Star Wars or you want to get them to like Star Wars, I think I think these are a good place to start. They don't necessarily need to know a whole lot about Star Wars films other than maybe who Luke Skywalker is. So it's a really good way to kind of introduce them and let them kind of start building their own universe. And then in the vein of young reader books, uh, I'm going to start up a series on reviewing these books as well. Um, Adventures in Wild Space. I'm really excited about this. So I, this is something I'm really interested in. Like I said, I, it means a lot to me to know what young reader books are out there. Let me know if there's other ones that you would like me to read for you before you read them yourself. Until next time, keep it real and fly casual. Cooking can be fun!